Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new project which is called Chat LM Web. Now, this is a chat application that allows users to communicate with Vicuna's LM. Now, what makes Vicuna something so great is that its natural language understanding as well as its optimized performance, its easy to use deployment, as well as its open source nature, which sets it apart from other LMs. Now, what this project has done is that it has made it so that Vicuna is totally applicable to you by using it on your actual web browser. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what this actual application is, as well as how you can install it and deploy it locally, as well as how you can access it on the actual chat web. Now, we're also going to be taking a look at some of the actual features of this. So stay tuned and we're going to show you what you can do with this actual application. Now, I actually just opened up a new Twitter account for this actual channel guys so i highly recommend that you go subscribe i'm gonna post all the latest information of ai on this actual twitter account i know there's gonna be some things that i don't post about on my youtube channel but i'm gonna be posting it on twitter so i highly recommend that you stay tuned and stay focused on this actual account so follow through turn on notification bell so you get the latest ai news right to you now guys if you guys haven't subscribed it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so please subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and with that thought let's get right into the video so chat lm web is actually powered by web gpu as well as web lm technology and this is something that i talked about in my previous videos and i'll leave this in the description below well it's basically a way to access lms on the web way easier so what they've done is that they utilize this technology and they basically built upon Vicona with the actual technology. And what this does is that it provides a secure and private messaging environment when no server actually required to operate this application. Now the chat application is designed to function as a one-on-one -on -one conversation between the user and Vicuna. So you're able to effectively talk to Vicuna in a way so that you're able to do any of the basic needs that you want it to accomplish. Now, users can type messages to Vicuna, who will then respond with relevant and personalized answers based off the understanding of the natural language. In this example, you can see that you're able to ask it to give you a quick, quick shot in Python and you're able to get this response from Vicuna. Now, you're able to do this with the model that is trained on a vast amount of data set and can understand and generate text in multiple languages. And this is something I talked about and emphasized. So I'll leave the link in the description below for WebLM as well as Vicuna as to how you can actually play around with it. And I've made a lot of in-depth analysis as to what you can do with Vicuna. So check that out. You'll get a better idea of what it is. So one of the main features of chat LM web is its use of web GPU technology. Now this allows users to actually use advanced graphic pro like actual processing capabilities in the actual web browser of Chrome. Now this technology enables the application to provide a faster and more efficient rendering of text and graphics, which basically improves the overall performance of like a chatbot application. You're going to be able to actually get faster answers and get efficient like processing of generative AI content. Now another significant like feature of ChatLM is that it focuses on privacy and security and what I'm going to be showing you guys is the features in the next aspect of the actual video but one of their actual these these two are like the actual notable pinpoints of this application as it puts it over many of the different like web server like applications of an LLM so I highly recommend that you use this now let's actually focus on some of the actual features that web LM or sorry chat LM actually provides so let's actually focus on some of the impressive features that chat LM web actually focuses on now one of their main ones is that there's a serverless ar architecture for this application now chat LM web operates entirely within the user's browser without requiring any server support this means that you can communicate between the user as well as the actual LM now this remains super private and secure and this is one of the great things about running this and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually play around with this and I'll show you some demonstrations as to what you can do with it. Now 
A second feature is that WebGPU acceleration is applicable with this application as it utilizes WebGPU technology, which provides an advanced graphic processing capability within the actual browser. Now this results to a faster and more efficient rendering of text and graphics. And this is something that we talked about at the start of the video. You're able to get better generative content way faster and efficiently. Now the third feature is that there's a model execution as a web worker. Now this LM runs in the web worker field where, which basically ensures that it doesn't block the user's interface, providing a seamless experience. Now another actual feature is that this process as well as the actual installation is very easy to deploy. And this is one of the things that they focused on as chat LM can be deployed very quickly with a click of a button and you're able to install it and get it running really, really quick. Another feature is its model caching, caching, sorry, which the application supports a model caching. So users can actually only need to download the model once. So you don't need to actually like download it constantly whenever you want to use it and it, this basically saves time and reduces the load on the user's actual device now another feature is its multi-conversation chat and what this means is that chat lm web allows you for multi-conversation chat with different data being stored locally on your browser to enhance the privacy so you don't need to keep on worrying about your actual chats being like deleted or you can just go back to it whenever you want and lastly, I definitely think that this application and the web UI is quite awesome. It provides you a dark like feature or a dark mode in which you can have it very like appealing and it's quite responsive. And I don't know about you guys, but I, I definitely love the UI compared to many of these other chat bot bots that are like deployable on the actual web front. So I highly recommend that you check this out. Now, let's actually talk about some of the things about why Vicuna might be a great LM to use over other chatbot Vicuna or LM sorry so let's actually focus on that aspect on the next portion of the video so in this day and age you have so many different LMs that you can choose and use so why would you actually use Vicuna LM as your main choice as a chatbot as well as something that you would want to use over chat GPT well one of the main features about Vicuna that you would basically set apart from other things is that it's open source feature which basically means that users can review and modify the code that suits best to their needs and requirements and the aspect that the community it's a community driven project which means that people can input as well as tweak around with the data sets making it a better project overall as time goes because people are going to be contributing continuously to make this a better project secondly vicuna is obviously very easy to deploy and you're able you can see that with this ap actual application you're able to deploy it within one click on Vercel, making it accessible to anyone and you don't even need any sort of like technical knowledge to do so last uh, thirdly not lastly but thirdly it's security and privacy now vicuna lm is designed to operate entirely within the web like actual users browser which requires no server support at all and this basically ensures that all your actual conversation with the chatbot is to remain private and secured. And this is what actually like puts this chatbot over any of those other chatbots because you're able to have that security and privacy while using this application. Now, one of the two main features about this is its natural language understanding. And this is something that Vicuna LM has been trained on as it has a vast amount of data, which enables it to understand natural language in multiple different languages. And this is something I emphasize in my video that goes more in depth about what ChatGPT is as an open source, or sorry, what Vicuna is as an open source project and allows you to provide relevant and personalized responses to your actual query. And lastly, the performance of Vicuna LM is optimized to run efficiently within the browser, as well as whatever application you have it installed upon locally or on the browser, you're able to run results faster in response times. 
and you're able to get an improved overall comparison towards other LLMs. So if you want a more detailed understanding of what Vicuna is, as well as what you can understand, I'll leave the link on the description below. But in this case, this is what actually sets it apart from other actual LLMs. Now let's actually get a gist of how you can actually play around with it. So I'll leave the link of the repo in the description below. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually install it locally for us. And then that way I can show you guys what you can do with it actually on the actual web front. So there's actually a couple of instructions that you need to keep in mind. To use this app, you will need the actual browser that supports the web GPU, which is Chrome 113, or you can use Chrome Canary. And this is something I showcase in the web GPU or web LM actual like video. Now you need to use anything that's greater or anything that is not uh, at this level of Chrome's like update, you need to make sure that you update it so you can run this efficiently. Now, you will need a GPU to with about like 6.4 GB of memory. And if you have less than this, then the app will still run, but you're not gonna get the best response times. So keep that in mind. And the first time you run this app, you will need to download the model for the Vicuna 7 billion parameter model that you are currently using. Download the size that is about 4 GB and after initial download, the model will be loaded for the browser cache for faster usage. And you can do this by actually going on this link. So I'll leave this repo link in the description below so that you're gonna be able to efficiently and effectively run this application. Now, in terms of the roadmap, they've been actually focusing a lot of different things. And what they're trying to do is create a desktop version with Tari, which will basically use the system cache not just the browser cache and you'll be able to run it locally and offline so you can run it at your own conventional need and this is one of the great things about this project and what they're trying to do now let me show you guys as to how you can actually install it locally on your desktop now what you will need is you'll need git and this is some an application that you will be using to actually clone the repository onto your desktop you will need a language editor which is python in this case so make sure you have the latest version of python installed and you will also need a code editor in this case i use a visual studio code you can also use your command prompt it's something this is an optional step but in my case it's more appealing and more effective to use it so i highly recommend that you do that now first things first you'll need to copy this line of code open up your command prompt and clone the repository onto your desktop to do that you just copy and paste this press enter and it'll start cloning into the actual folder onto your desktop now what you'll need to do is press cd and chat llm dash web and what this will do is it will start downloading the files into the required area now you can run mpvi and you can run this locally on your actual desktop it'll take a couple seconds and once that is done i'll get right back to you all right, looks like it's done. And now you can run this actually by pressing and copying this into the command prompt. Press enter and you can start running this shortly. So it will then open up this on your local host. And what you can do is copy this link and you can paste it into your web browser. It's going to take a couple seconds to load because it's going to start installing it and getting the server ready. So it might take a couple seconds to pop up. But once it's done, I'll be right back to you. And just like that, guys, it'll finish installing whatever is required to run this on your local desktop. And we can see that we can now run this on our local host. So there's two ways to deploy this. You can use Vercel, which is the app that they provided and which you can deploy with one click. Or you can install it locally on your local host using the steps that I just provided. Now, let's actually get and play around with this. So you get the instructions on what you can do. It tells you the requirements, so you, you should definitely read through it before you actually play around with it so once you're ready you can click let's get started and you can start asking whatever you want so what is vicuna let's let's just give you a better description of vicuna is i don't know if i spelled this right but let's send this in and let's see if we can get an answer so i uh, remember what i talked about to start you're going to be first loading the model and it'll take a couple of seconds i believe it was 4 gb what they said and what the, or yeah it's about the download size is about 4 gb so you're gonna first installize this and what this will do is it'll start installing the packages that are required to run vicuna gpr lm on your actual web browser so once that is done you can start using it and i'll be right back to you once it's done so it looks like it finished installing just now it just took a couple of seconds 
and i think it's gonna be a little bit slower because obviously it says that you'll need a gpu with 6.4 gb of memory and if you don't the app will still run but it's gonna the response times is gonna be much slower so this will definitely depend on how you're able to have a capable processor to run this so just keep that in mind before you run it obviously i do not have an amazing computer so i'm not going to be able to uh give you the best like demo of this but i hope you get a gist of how it basically works and i hope this installation of how you can run it basically on your local desktop it was quite useful and that's basically it for today's video on chat alum web overall i definitely see this as an amazing application in which you're able to have a unique and innovative application that showcases the capabilities of vicuna very easily and it's fast secure so you're able to get the best type of like output out of this application so i hope you found this video quite helpful guys thank you so much for watching make sure you uh, actually follow my twitter account and please subscribe and turn on notification bell as you will get the best content out there for you in the ai world so with that thought guys thank you so much for watching i hope you watch love this video with that thought have an amazing day have a positive smile spread positivity and i'll see you guys soon thank you so much peace out fellas